Hello Backyard Monsters fans, I'm David Scott, co-founder of Kicksite and creator of Backyard Monsters. So Backyard Monsters is now two years old. Let's take a look back at how the game has grown and evolved over the last two years. So I've been a huge fan of RTS games and one day I decided to try and find one that I could play in the browser. I checked out a few, but my favourite part of playing these games was the battles, and they were completely missing. Instead, the player was given a simple battle report. As with every game I've made, I started making backyard monsters to make the game I wanted to play. I wanted the player to be able to improve their defences through smart placement of buildings, and to see the battles in real time and be able to impact the outcome based on the angle they attacked from, the units they used, and when they got deployed. Absolutely, I've never been a fan of lengthy design documents, partly because I'm impatient and I want to start coding, but mostly because I believe we need the freedom to explore as we develop. We started out with a system where you could build monsters using different body parts, but it was far too complex. The early versions had a top-down view, which we changed just a week before release to better show off the building artwork. The thing is, it was, it was so busy around the, the time we were, we were doing it, um, that is like, oh, we hit a million, yay! But now we you know we need to get back to work, working on on the next big feature and the next next release. And um, you know, two million came by just 32 days later, and three million came by, you know, 23 days later. And it was, you know, all these milestones were passing us, but um, uh, we were just so focused on, you know, releasing the next thing and, and getting the game, you know, to ma more match a state of what was in our head at the time. Oh, so much. I mean, we've been updating the game every one to two weeks uh, for two years now. So, I mean, we've quadrupled the number of monsters, we've doubled the number of buildings. Uh, things like the Yard Planner, the Monster Beta, the, um, the Hatchery Control Center, they, they didn't exist. Map Room 2 didn't come along for a year. Uh, Inferno was released only uh, a few, few weeks ago. So it's um, so much. I mean, it's changed, changed a lot over the last two years. Oh, I, I do read the forums all the time, and I love the passion the players have for the game. We, we definitely take into account some of the things they request, and some of those requests have made it into the game. We're working on a, a new version of the Yard Planner, uh, because that's one of the more requested features. We've also adjusted the balance of monsters based on feedback. We started with three people, including myself, and in the first four years we grew to 12. So in the last two years we've increased to 150, which means there's a lot more people working on backyard monsters and we can work on bigger and better features. I don't think there is such a thing. I mean there are bases that I can't destroy, but that's not to say that others can't. It's about figuring out how to take someone down. You need to use the right tool for the job. Oh, no one knows. Uh, it started off as an ego thing, but it's taken on a life of its own. And there are people on the forums trying to guess what Dave means, and some of the some of the suggestions they've come up with are pretty good. Talking of monster names, uh, Pokey was originally called Pinky, and before that, Pincus, as a nod to the founder of Zynga. But we changed our mind the day before we launched. Dave was almost called the Bear after the character in Inglorious Bastards, which came out when we were developing the game. Absolutely. Backyard Masters has got a long life ahead of it, and the team behind it has done nothing but grow. We have some big changes coming to the map room to help spice things up, and to make it easier to manage your empire. I also want to focus more on optimizing the game, so that it can run better on slower systems, and more people can play. So a big thank you to the millions who've played over the last two years. Backyard Masters and Kicks Eye wouldn't be where it is today without you. Now go blow some shit up.